Montana. Okay. Yeah. Did you just get in? No, he's coming from someplace else. He's coming from Arizona, aren't you? Yeah. From Arizona. Okay. We came in a couple of days ago. We came in last night. Nice. Uh, are you going to stick around for a little while? A day or two. Yeah, I'm supposed to be at work, but uh, I'm calling in. Just hope I don't lose my job. So why'd you come down? Because I got the call. You know, we as veterans, we always, I think we always been back to each other as veterans. I think we all did that. And we still do. And I think uh, that uh, underlying thread that uh, unites the uh, military is, I think we all, we, all waited, we all waited for this call, and I did for a long time. So it's it feels like, good to be around veterans. It's like Leonard Crow Dog said last night at a meeting. Said, uh, when I called out for my brothers, you know, he's a veteran himself. So when I called out for my brothers, I expected maybe 40, 50 veterans to show up. He said, but look at this. There was like 2,000 of us there. So I didn't expect it. It was pretty emotional, you know, it's a powerful speech. You know, this, is, you know, this, this is what it's about. You know, from, from the, uh, people that were willing to put their lives on the line are doing it again, no matter what they're, like, they're in service. They come to serve the people again. So it was pretty good. He gave good speech. What do you guys think about the way the police have been treating folks out here? It's horrible. It's in Alaska. If you pour, throw water on somebody in this condition, it's considered a murderous intent. They can actually charge you with that. Like they're trying to murder because they're going to freeze instantly. And them doing that, spraying the people down at night, you know, 24 degrees, that's not right. You know, it's just, uh, and, uh, like, the con concussion grenades and stuff, they're throwing at people. One girl got the arm, you know, I think, I don't know if it's been amputated or what. Uh, it's horrible what they're doing. And some of them are probably vets themselves. Uh, right now, if they see us all, right they have conflicting Look at that, guys! They're going to be like, you know, like, those are my brothers over there, too. Even though they're law enforcement, you know, but they're going to they're gonna see us there, too. And hopefully, that makes them think, you know, they're going to step that back. There's been uh, police officers turning in their badges because of this and coming to the side. Yeah, tomorrow, it's going to be a historical day tomorrow. Do you know anything about like what the plan is tomorrow? Yeah. Alright. 